What's up everybody? This is a video demonstration of the Amazon Echo and using it for voice commands to control smart home devices. Um, the Echo right now currently works with a couple of smart home systems, uh, Wink and SmartThings. Um, for this demonstration, uh, my house is a SmartThings uh, connected home. Um, basically all that means is I'm using a SmartThings hub to talk to devices throughout the house. All the devices right now are Z-Wave, a couple Zigbee things, um, but uh, pretty much that's the majority of my home automation. Now the advantage with the Echo and smart things is I can literally, all I had to do was log into my uh, Alexa app. She's listening. Never mind. Don't worry. I'm not talking to you yet. Um, and sign in, link them together, Literally, I tell her to discover my devices, and she discovers everything in my entire house instantly. Um, it's great. So basically, now I can say, Alexa, turn the living room off. And she says OK, and the living room turns off, except for my LED lights. Uh, Alexa, living room on. Okay. She had to think a little bit. <laughs> um, but I basically have modes set up in the house. Like I go to bed, I have a night mode. I have, uh, you know, if it's nighttime and I don't really want all these lights really bright, I have a dim mode, I have a bright mode, things like that. So, um, Alexa, turn dim house on. Okay. So this is dim house. Now you're gonna watch all these lights in the house are gonna slowly dim down. See, there those go. Now we can watch the living room. We'll dim right down. So this is dim house. I, I named it. Um, basically how that works is, at least with smart things, you can set up different uh, routines, so to speak, and trigger them. Uh, Alexa, bright house on. Okay. So you'll watch all the lights are going to come right up, up nice and bright. But it, it's great. You can walk into rooms, uh, turn lights on and off. Um, I'm able to trigger complete modes of the entire house. I can basically turn, uh, you know, different scenes on by just talking to the Echo unit and it'll trigger the entire house to do things. So it's great. Like when I go to bed, I tell, um, I tell her to turn night mode on and she instantly talks to smart things. All the doors lock, the uh, alarm system arms itself and everything in the house turns off and also it turns the thermostat down. Um, the I think the Echo works right now with Nest via IFTT. Uh, I'm using a Z-Wave thermostat, so everything that's being um, sent to this is going through smart things. The only reason I went with this is because these, you can get them for like 60 bucks as opposed to 300, um, you know, for a Nest. And I'm basically, instead of all the smarts being in the Nest unit, all the intelligence is in the smart things app itself. As of now, um, the Echo does not support any additional speaker support or connection or anything like that, uh, whether it's wireless or hardwired. So I kind of made my own little head foot, uh, headphone adapter and uh, basically spliced it off the internal woofer. There's a couple of videos, actually I don't think there's any videos, but, but uh, some review, or what should I say, that's what I'm looking for, blogs I guess, instructions on how to do this. Um, if you you know, feel like you're able to handle uh, cutting up your Echo unit. Um, it wasn't that involved, you know, it's pretty much two wires and, and that's it. So you are only getting a mono signal out of it doing it this way, um, but it works great in my house. And again, I have uh, uh, basically surround sound throughout the whole house, speakers and, and all the ceilings, and, and I'll walk you through that in a minute here. Um, and this worked out perfect for getting the Echo sound output to go through my entire house. Um, Another thing I have running through this, since it is running through the whole house, is pretty much the uh, SmartThings unit, which can tell me when doors are open and closed. So, um, Alexa, stop. I'm just going to turn the music off. So how that works is, is basically I have a uh, Mac computer running um, pretty much a SmartThings-based app, um, which uh, you know I can see what's on, what's off. And on top of that, it triggers when I open a door, and it'll tell me what door is open. Mudroom door open. There we go. 
mudroom door closed. So you can see there, pretty much, it's just using these uh, little sensor, open and close sensors, and I have an uh, an app designed to trigger uh, basically an iTunes um, sound bite in here, which plays through the Echo. So it's great. So the other good thing is I can actually have music playing. So uh, Alexa, play Pandora. So here we go. It's going to play music. Um, I'll wait till it kind of gets kind of loud so you can hear. It'll actually pause the music and uh, let me know what's going on. And again, this works for all my motion sensors I have throughout the house, uh, the outside of the house. So if something happens, motion walks by, I get a notification. Um, so here, I'll open the door. You hear the music playing. Mudroom door open. Music stops. I'll close the door again. It'll say mudroom door closed. Mudroom door closed. And then in about a second, music will play. There you go. Um, so that's a really cool feature about the Echo is the Bluetooth uh, ability to cut in and out, specifically for the home automation aspect of things. I think that's awesome. Um, uh, next thing I'm going to talk about is the Logitech Harmony, which is basically a, probably can't even see in here, a little hub that runs all my entertainment devices being, you know, uh, Xbox, the Amazon TV, uh, cable TV, all that stuff. And I'm triggering that through uh, IFTT. Now, basically, IFTT is it's a service that's you know internet-based, and that can get a whole another you know involved uh, video on. But basically, I have it set up so I can say a trigger word, it'll send the command to Harmony, and things will start happening. Now, the only problem with this setup is things are kind of slow because again, it's going from my Echo through the internet to Amazon, then bouncing off IFTT, then bouncing off Logitech, and finally triggering the system. So I'm gonna give a command, you'll see it happen. Alexa, trigger Xbox. Sending that to IFT. So, and she says, sending that to IFT, uh, which is IFTT. Um, again, there goes the TV, it's turning on. So that was a good, I'd say, what? Three, four seconds? Eh, five seconds. And again, we're talking in, you know, it's it, it, in seconds here. So it's nothing too extreme. Um, it's so far been really reliable too. That's that's the other big key with this whole system. Um, so it's nice when I come out of the kitchen or come from the bedroom, whatever. Before I even sit down, usually the Xbox fires up, all the lights dim down, and I pick up my controller and start playing, um, which is which is pretty awesome. Um, and pretty much if I want to end the routine, I can go over to my Logitech remote. If I hit, uh, sorry, if I hit off, TV turns off, Xbox turns off, and the lights will come back up to full brightness. Um, then you can use it for things like music. And with my adapter set up, I can literally be, it, it's pretty good. My house isn't very big, but I can be pretty much in the kitchen and ask it to play music and it will. Alexa, play Pandora. So I was way over there, um, and it heard me just fine. Actually, here, I'll put it through the whole house. I had it muted. So you can hear, I'm not sure how good the microphone is on the GoPro, but it sounds pretty great in here. I'll walk in, uh, I have another speaker here in the bathroom. Quality is really good. Um, I'm also, I also have a speaker in the uh, bedroom, it's kind of a mess in there, so I'm not going to go in there. Um, speaker in the bedroom, and I can actually, Alexa, volume two. So I can control the volume with it, but I also have a, uh, the wireless remote that came with Echo when I bought it, and I'm able to sit in the bedroom and talk to Alexa and be able to hear her in the bedroom because of the speaker. Uh, installed in the ceiling so it's it's also great if you have you know that kind of a setup i'm assuming in the future she's going to work with sonos and things like that so that's probably where they're going to end up with it these mul you know have multiple remotes in multiple rooms using a wireless speaker and you'll be able to trigger all of the commands um which is great uh, pretty much that kind of touches base on everything with the echo i think so again so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, feel free to leave questions or comments